Hi there, I've got a new video for you, and in this video we're going to be comp comparing two cameras, starting with this one. This is the Rilo, which I've had since last May, and we'll be comparing the Rilo with a, a camera that I just got very recently. This is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now, I haven't had a new GoPro in four years. The last new GoPro I had was the Hero 4 Silver, which was the first GoPro that had a touch screen. Now, I've always kind of liked working with GoPros. Uh, the user interface is usually pretty good, and it's, you can control it from your mobile device. It's fun to work with. And uh, the, with this new GoPro, this hyper-smooth stabilization is very, very good. And I've done some tests with it, and I'm quite impressed with the quality, the image quality that you can get from it. All right, now, the first thing I do before I do the uh, outdoor tests and stabilization tests, I just want to... Uh, I just want to see how the GoPro would work as a studio camera like this. Right now, this is my M50, Canon M50, EOS M50, which is my best camera that I use for studio work uh, in indoor studio like this. And I want to see, sometimes I like to use a second camera. I usually use my other Canon camera, the G5X. But I want to see how effective it would be to use this camera here, the GoPro, as my second camera when doing a, an introduction like this. And I'm going to set that up right now, and we'll see how it works. Okay, I'm back, and now I'm using the GoPro as a second camera. It's pretty wide. I'm, in, I'm shooting at 4K, and in the 4K mode, the only uh, options are super wide and wide. I was hoping to use linear, but I guess it doesn't work in 4K. But I thought it would be good to use 4K here just to get the maximum quality uh, from, the, from, the, from the GoPro. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty wide shot, but anyway, how does it look? I think it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm monitoring it on my iPad here, and it seems to work pretty well. Okay, let's get on with the video. The first test comparing the Rilo to the GoPro Hero 7 Black is walking outside, testing mainly the stability as well as the image quality. Bright sun. I'm doing a little test of uh, comparing two cameras, the Rilo and the new GoPro Hero 7 Black. I'm going for a little walk, and uh, the GoPro I'm shooting at 4K, yeah, super wide, or is it wide? I'm not sure. Uh, I think, I, yeah, I put in a super wide, which I thought would be sort of comparable to the wide angle that you get with a Rilo. But I'm not absolutely sure of that. I'm testing for image quality and stability. The hyper smooth stability of the GoPro is supposed to be pretty good, and I think it is good. But I don't know if it can beat the Rilo. The Rilo is extremely stable and smooth for something like this. So the next thing I'm going to test is the uh, on the Rilo the hyperlapse, and on the GoPro it is called a time lapse, I guess. So I'll stop now. Okay, that's the outdoor test. Now, the, for the next test, I'm going to walk around inside my house here, and we'll see which camera produces the best quality. Of course, uh, sta for stabilization, I think you'll see that the uh, Rilo is always the best, but in indoor lighting, the GoPro definitely seems to do a better job. Anyway, let's see what you think. All right, we're recording. Now I'm going to try another test comparing the Rilo to the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Inside, indoor lighting. 
In the past, neither one of these cameras has been particularly good at indoor lighting, but I'm gonna walk through from our kitchen here, looking at me first. Through the kitchen, the living room, and into the living, well, the dining room, now the living room, all the way back to the end here. And I'm just gonna turn around and go back the same way because you couldn't see much. All right, here we are going back again. We're testing, also testing the stability and uh, indoors under. I've got all the lights on, so it's not a terribly low light situation. Okay, now I'm gonna just turn it, turn up the cameras around. Okay, start here. Okay, there's the kitchen. Kitchen area. Dining room. And of course, in our living room area, we have our Christmas tree. This is the day after Christmas. Into the kitchen. Now let's see which one looks best and which one has the best stability. Okay, one more test. Uh, I compared the Rilo and the new GoPro Hero 7 Black. I just wanted to show you how it compares with my other camera, my best camera, the Canon M50. Just going to do an, another walkthrough with this camera. Uh, I've got image stabilization turned on, and I'm also recording this at 60 frames per second. Uh, because that's the smoothest way to get video movement with this camera, I believe. I tried it at 30 frames per second, but, which, but it was not very good. So that, I hope this is much smoother this time. Well, I guess that will do it for this video. Um, the GoPro is really new for me, and I this new version of the GoPro, and I have a lot of features I have not tried yet. The voice command, the slow motion, a lot of things that I'm looking forward to trying. But anyway, it's fun to play with uh, a new toy. And so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, and, uh, and the, the Royal is still a very good camera, especially outdoors in the direct light and bright sunlight. You can get a very smooth, steady picture and with a new 5.8K uh, upgrade, it's pretty darn good. So it's nice to have all these great cameras and having the option of using whichever one I want to use. So that will conclude it for this time, and uh, thanks again for watching. Bye. <music>